And so obligations to try and achieve that difference in mental health care, obligations were placed upon health boards to completely revamp uh, their attitude, their, their provision, their monetary provision for mental health services. And you see that in a lot of the health boards uh, around here. The last in the West of Scotland, I think, still to be making a major, major changes. The one thing about liberals that comes from the Latin League, they were very free and generous. Um, and so we obviously well, 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 There's one thing that, that's bothered me about what you've said is that um, you know we're losing uh, the focus here. Uh, the number of the proportion of people that are problematic drug users or alcohol users, you're looking at one to two percent of the number that are using that come into contact with the services. Mm -hmm. So the majority of what we know or think we know about alcohol and drug users is focused on a tiny, tiny minority, whereas you've got 98% that aren't having those problems. Mm -hmm. You know, which which really does you know. Okay, but steady on. I mean, that that that, that well, the statistics we can we can all. The one I wasn't suggesting that they represent the majority. But what I was saying is that the statistics are quite clear that the same people who have the misfortune to begin their lives in some form mm. of deprived circumstance are the same people who are the least uh, attainers, the lowest attainers in school, are the same people who present in our youth courts, are the same people who present. So, of that very, not huge majority, but as part of society, a for whom I believe I have some conscience because they are not in getting some fulfillment, but also, if you're being rather narrow and more selfish, they're the same people who cause society a disproportionate amount of problem. It's a universal problem, though. That's, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. the same.